Hey you guys, this is Screeching Squid 3D with a number two of our good old fashioned do's and don'ts with a friend. And today's do's and don'ts, do's and dots and do's and dots and do's and dots, is a good friend of mine, Rowan. Say hi, Rowan. Rowan, nice to meet you. Thank you for joining us for this do's and don't topic of the day. And the topic of the day is do's and don'ts for working with LGBTQT plus folks. So I'll start running them down, and you guys know how this already is if you've already watched the first one. If you haven't watched the Do's and Don't video number one, go back and check that one out, and you'll see how things are. Um, in this topic, I will run down what is don't and what is do, and we will debate about it. It's a podcast. We talk our feelings out. We see what yes or no. All right, so the first one is, when working with these people, is... Don't make assumptions about someone's gender identity or sexuality in the workplace. Don't ever make assumptions. That makes about sense, common sense just in today's society. Don't just walk up to me, say it's me as a person, and they automatically say, Hey, what's up, sir? You just assumed my gender. You assumed who I am. You assumed I'm a guy. You assumed... Um... Lots of things. Assumption is bad. I get a lot assumption more than anything in today's society. Assumption, assuming about just anything. Assume. Do use gender neutral language and inc inclusive language to open the door to all survivors. Inclusive language is stuff like partner. I always say that's my partner. My significant other instead of boyfriend or girlfriend or husband and wife. And are you seeing someone? Or are you in a committed relationship instead of, do you have a boyfriend slash girlfriend? Or are you married? Yeah. Gender neutral language right there. Don't ask invasive questions about someone's body. I feel like this is just like blunt with like women in the workplace. And you go up to a girl and just be like, yeah, she's too fat to work here. Or she's too skinny to work here. It's like, bro, what did you just say? What did you say about her? Yes. Exactly. Like totally. <laughs> like I I have a condition that I don't really have talked much about myself on this channel. Uh I don't really talk about those topics. I just kind of go through and run through things that I like to do like my meme remixes and just basic topics I like having fun with. I, but I never really talked much about myself, and myself is that I have a chronic illness that I have an issue with. People always tell me, you're too skinny, you're too skinny, you need to eat, you need to eat. God, have you eaten anything in the last few minutes? And I'm like, man, dude, that hurts That hurts me as a person because I have, I have an illness, and I try to eat as much as I can throughout the day, but I still end up looking the way I am, and I, I hate it at the moment. I'm always checking my weight, and I'm trying to gain weight the best way I can and it's and it's it's making me scared I get worried constantly I worry about my body so people saying that working with people that say that really hurts my feelings just people in society that just come up to me and be like do you need me to get you a burger or some french fries or something I'm like dude I eat I eaten like two seconds ago literally I've already eaten <laughs> you don't have to keep wor worrying if I've eaten or not I always make sure I eat <laughs> so uh do respect people's identity. Number one rule. However, I identify, however, Rowan identifies, whatever pronouns we identify as, that's our, how we view ourselves, how we view things, that's my point of view. I'm going to be completely different from any other person I bump into. Another guy that's like me may have a different viewpoint of, of slightly different than me. So he might be they, them, he might be this. It, it's just you got to ask. It, it's it's a t it's a tough sub subject. That's my why my pronouns may be a little off right now. Is because sometimes when I have a close friend that I've grown up with for so long, and then all of a sudden they come up to me and they say they changed their pronouns and they changed. It's hard for you to kind of you know start doing that because you've known them for so long. You know. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Don't don't out someone's sexual orientation or transgender status. Yeah, 
don't don't out that. I, I guess basically don't make it. If they want to spread that news, if they want to make it a big deal and t tell everyone, let them do that. Don't be the type of person to spread that rumor or spread that all over and have other people talking about it because it's like it's their business. If they give you permission to do it, let them. That's their rights. It's the same in the medical field. Those are those medical people. Those people are all on file and those are their problems and they don't want those to get out and start like it's like, oh, this person has gonorrhea. Let's let everybody know this person has this or no, you don't you don't out someone's information. That's private information to them. You. you it's it hurts probably hurts them knowing that all these people will think of that person as this kind of person first before I actually get to knowing the person. You never judge a book by the by the cover. You never judge a book by its cover. You get to know the person, and they're they're totally different than what you assume they were, or you, they're totally, you know. Once you actually start talking to that person, you realize, man, I uh I screwed up. I sh I shouldn't have done what I just did. Yeah, you shouldn't have did what you just did because. You made that person feel 10 times worse about themselves. You made them depressed. You made them go through a traumatic moment in their life. If you would have just shut your mouth, as my parents always say, less is more. If you don't say that stuff, things kind of work work out better in the end. Um, do talk to the person before advocating on their behalf. So you do you do talk to the person before. You, you get permission. You get a lot of things is consensual. In, in today's life, you have to get consent. You can't move forward without getting consent. That's with any job. You have to sign a consent form. You have to consent towards any rights. Don't ignore the importance of using the right pronouns. Yep. Do use the pronoun that someone asks you to use. When you mess up a pronoun, correct yourself, apologize, and move on. That is me. 24-7. I may mess up, but I apologize instantly, and I move on from the situation. Don't. Yeah. Yeah. Don't ignore when others use incorrect pronouns. So, um, a lot of people seem to have the problem with me. Uh, I sometimes go off with non-binary. I sometimes have, I'm gender fluid, so sometimes I like she pronouns at the time, and I want to people to use those she pronouns, but when I'm in a group of people, and it's mostly cis males, uh, they choose not to do it, and I'm talking to my friends, and uh, they, they go by she, her, and they go, no, you should have made that guy to call you by she, her. You can't just let him walk all over you. You can't just let him use that. You could, you should have just kept correcting him. And I was like, well, I, that's my problem because it's like, well, I don't feel like I have, I, I just, in my sense, my parents always say I'm lazy. It's like, why didn't you keep telling them? And I was like, well, I don't want to repeat myself 10 times to a guy. Like, please, you, she, her, please, you, she, her, please, you, she, her. The, even though when he's going to keep going, he, 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 guy, sir, sir, this dude right here, man, I mean, it's a headache. It's aggravating. It's complicated. It's always a problem with me to speak up. I have an issue with speaking up. But my other friends always fussed me for it, and they told me I should have speak spoken up, and I should have said something to him. And you shouldn't just let those people walk all over you. And I'm like, I I'm sorry. I apologize. But I mean, <laughs> do model the correct pronoun stage. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, it's. A lot of this is self-explanatory. It self-explains itself just by that first sentence, pretty much. Don't use language like, I am working with a woman who is really a man. She says she's a man, but she's obviously a woman, or he is not a real woman. <sighs> oh, that is something that would get someone completely beat up right away. Someone will get knocked out by saying stuff like that. Um, there's... I'm going to actually get back to that one in a few seconds, but I'm going to move on to the last two on here. Do respect an individual's identity and use the terms that someone use, uses for themselves. Mirror a person's language. Self-explanatory. Correct. Do speak up when someone makes homo, bi, transphobic, or heterosexist, yeah, heterosexist remarks. Don't be a sexist. I get that a lot from people. They're being sexist. Be aware of your own bias. Remember, if you know one LGBTQ person, you know one LGBT person. 
treat people as individuals and don't expect a single person to represent an entire community. Okay, so now we bring up the extra stuff that we've probably heard throughout our today's life. Uh, comments that we probably have heard that I'm sure Rowan has heard over social media. Let's bring up some controversial things. Um, the he used to be a man, she used to be he, this was a man. Yeah, I get that a lot. Um, that's annoying. That's very annoying. I get the one where, uh, well, what do you have down below? Whatever you have down below is what you are. That one's aggravating. Um, the, what were you born? Uh, you can't, uh, fully correct yourself. Uh, you're biologically born that way. If you're born with the chromosomes, you are the chromosomes. Those are aggravating. They, they, they have, the, the, the people have gotten to scientific, scientific levels of, no, you can't be that gender, no this. And then it's the sense of the LGBT card. Now, black people, black people, I'm on another deep subject, are allowed to use that word. We all know what the word is. They get that card because that's their race. LGBT people were allowed to use cer certain words. If you're not part of the community and you're just a straight cis man coming up to us and saying those words, you don't get the pass. You don't get the pass. I'm allowed, as part of the community, to say things like, um, I am a tranny. Okay, it may be triggering to other people, but if a regular sits person says that to my face, I'm going to be triggered and I'm going to probably cry. I am allowed to say the word tranny. A cis man is not allowed to. I'm allowed to use words like faggot. When a cis person says faggot, it makes me cry. Because they're using it in a derogatory derogatory term, and they're using it as hurt language. Hurt language is not my kind of language. That's the language I want far away from me. It's it's reflecting on my mental state, and Rowan probably agrees that those words that cis men tend to use that are targeted towards us in a hate direction. We know it's hate. We're not stupid. We're not idiots. We know what you're doing. Stop. That's what we want you to do is stop using those words. We are allowed to use them. We get the pass on that because we are those actually, we've gone through it. We've gone through the pain. Go ahead. Um, You're about to say something. <laughs> Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Totally. And if they come off as with a tone in their voice, tone of your voice is everything. So if a cis man comes up to you and has a certain tone and uses a certain word that he doesn't have the pass on, like I just mentioned, that's 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 just like straight it's kinda like a it's a bickerment. It's it's he's bickering at us. He's using it to get an arise. Um He's he's wanting he's wanting to start something, and he de he may not know that the community is big, so we may know other people that will probably like like just put him down and gut like just disconnect him from making any other friends. That's possible. We're we're able to make it to where you're a sh you should feel ashamed for what you just did, and he he should not be the kind of person that should be appraised for his bicker bickering and appraised for being rude. Um, very rude uh, treatment that he's he's put on us. It's it's a touch it's a touchy subject for me. 
because all my life